Welcome back to night two here at the Steve. The NorCal Hitman visiting for the weekend. Last night's affair ended in a 13 to one blowout victory for the home Breckenridge Vipers. Vipers who are heading into the postseason, the first of its kind for the MHL, announcing the Clear Cup. The Mountain Hockey League's ultimate prize introduced introduction to the Clear Cup. The Mountain Hockey League proudly introduces a prestigious trophy destined to crown the champions of the 23-24 season. The vision behind the cup, the Clear, a leading cannabis company and lead sponsor of the NMHL, is the visionary force behind the Clear Cup. Its initiative reflects the commitment and innovation and excellence, marrying the competitive spirit of hockey with groundbreaking approaches, sponsorship, and community engagement. The contenders of the Clear Cup this year feature the Ice Raiders in Reno, the McCall Mountaineers, the Breckenridge Vipers, and the Santa Rosa team, the Growlers. Structured as the best of two of three series, the playoff promises intense battles among the top four teams. The competition will not only highlight skills and teamwork and determine who is going to be the first to claim the cup, tradition of celebration, the tradition of commemorating hockey triumphs through the unique initiatives was spotlighted following the Colorado Avalanche Stanley Cup win. The Clear Cup celebrates their victory by producing Champs Blue 182, a limited edition flavor. This act of celebration continues within the Clear Cup. In addition to lifting the Clear Cup, the winning team will be honored with a limited edition flavor of the Clear, named after their team and available in their city. They're announcing the starting lineups now for the visiting NorCal Hitman. Vipers have a few changes in the lineup tonight. No Kendall, no Ottenreath. And Manessi stepping in tonight. Also a newcomer, Blaze Ebbinghaus. will be playing some defense. Starting forward line for the night will be Garrett Bailey, Rick Battenberg, and Michael Houlihan. The pit bull line tonight for Coach Bats, Mike Ivory, Luke Noble, and Richie Kay. We want to thank some of our sponsors for making all of this possible. Fifth Avenue Grill over in Frisco on Main Street. Ollie's Pub and Grub. Whiskey Star, hosting the Skybox. Craniology Breck, Ramada Inn, your home away from home. New Belgium, Vale Summit Orthopedics, Breckenridge Grand Vacations. Here for the national anthem now, Greg Adamison.
23-24 season. It's been a great season. Want to thank all involved. Want to thank Trevor Poole and Autumn Pierpont, Jay Shields, Rick and Richard Battenberg, Carrie Hitton. Thank you all for being a part of this. I apologize if I've left some names out, just doing this off the top of my head. The Vipers heading to the first postseason to play for the Clear Cup. You can hear us live on KSMT The Mountain. Go to the website, find the live stream, and you can watch us here live on YouTube. And it's puck drop. They blow it dead immediately. I'm not sure if, uh, yeah, they need some lights on. It was a little dark. Tonight's also a special night. They've got a Vipers player playing his last game. Caleb Schwab, been on the team for 10 years. And Caleb is gonna head into retirement. Vipers move it in, Houlihan goes around a man. Battenberg chases it down into the corner. Pass over to Garrett Bailey. They get tied up down there in the corner. Point can't be held, and Schwab runs one down, works it over to Gallo. Bailey fields one off his skate, moves in, shot from the right point, misses wide left, and that's gonna carry him around. NorCal. Works it up off the boards, and they find their way in. Viper started things off quick last night, getting to four to nothing within the first few minutes of the game. Thanks to Michael Houlihan, broken stick on a slap shot. Vipers are able to move it out. Ivory through neutral. He's got Kay with him. Kay tries to bat one in out of the air. NorCal goes the other way. Wrap around. Richie Kay picks that off. He's chipped up out into neutral. Engelbert plays it. NorCal holds his own, works it in underneath. They get a shot from the slot here. They can't really work it off. Engelbert with a save, pucks loose. Engelbert was scrambling. NorCal had an open net and a chance to go up one nothing and take the first lead of the weekend. Now Cash and Peterson out there together, the two Summit local boys. Played together in high school with the newcomer Ebbinghaus, who's on the ice tonight. Cash gets it to Kreider. Kreider whips one in there. It goes high off the glass. NorCal sends it around the horseshoe. Kreider runs it down. Vipers work a change that brings Houlihan, Bailey, and Battenberg on the ice. One shot on goal apiece. Not an explosion of offense really going on yet. Bailey, though, backhands one through the bottom of the slot. There was nobody there. NorCal flips one off the glass. That should be icing. They'll blow it dead. 
Three and a half minutes into the contest, 0-0 zero, zero so far. Starting a net tonight for the visiting Hitmen is Shields. He got brought in last night after Robinet surrendered a few goals. Gallo with a shot, save Shields, backhand goal! Garrett Bailey, he gets tied up with Kimber, able to get the backhand off, off the rebound from Gallo. Vipers on the board quickly. They get back to where they left off last night with some offense. Scoring early and often. Vipers look to take some momentum and pace into the postseason. Pit bull line out for Coach Bats. Noble works in deep, takes a hit. Now Kay goes in deep. NorCal ices the puck. And they'll have to drop it down here in front of Shields. Schwab paired up with Gallo. And Schwab playing a really good physical game last night. The Vipers are gonna miss, miss Schwab. Kay plays one near his bench up forward to Ivory. Pass is turned over. Schwab throwing a hit, putting a man down in open ice. He'll play it behind to his partner, Gallo. And now Schwab throws it off the boards up into neutral. Manessi and Ivory battling over here against the PA booth. We have a stalemate for a while, but a hitman comes up with it. Shoot, save, Engelbert. That's Benson Burns getting that shot off. The puck squirted out of the pile over here against the wall, and he had some space to go. Book, the goal scorer on the dot, wins the faceoff back, but can't be held at the blue line by Hinsberg. Doyle runs it down into the corner. Peterson checks him into the boards. Book comes up with it, moves it around. Blown tire. Puck is still in NorCal territory. They finally move it up. It's intercepted by Bernstein. Ebbinghaus moves one forward. Getting his first start in the black and red. Book is off to the races up to the left side. He's centering, he's a pass. Looking for Johnson. Goes into the corner. Ebbinghaus battling in the corner over there. Shot from Kimber, that goes wide left. Sticked into the corner. Bernstein gets knocked down for a moment, gets right back up, handles the puck, misses Cash. Vipers work a change. Wilson moves it around, finds Bailey. Bailey touches it out of the zone, offsides, NorCal. Six forty-two into this game, one to nothing. The score, three shots on net for the home team. 
and two for the visitors. Flung in by Kimber, that's gloved down. Engelbert leaves it on the ice for Wilson. Bailey moves it up to Houlihan. He's got speed, Garrett Bailey with him. Through the legs, finds Battenberg. Battenberg a shot through traffic. Must have ran into something, maybe Bailey. He's slow to get up. Lewis fires one across ice. Kreider runs a man down. Him and Wilson playing it off the back of the boards there. And Engelbert's just going to cover that one up as it trickles near the crease. Looks like we're gonna get a call here on Kreider. Kreider looks as confused as I am, I missed it. Couldn't hear the call over the PA. NorCal goes to work on their first power play chance of the night. Centering pass, save Engelberg. That almost got through the crease to a stick. They skate the perimeter up top and fan shot, Schwint the intended receiver. Moved in by Holt Camp around. And the puck squirts out of the blue zone. Noble taking off. He waits for help, drops it back to Burns. That's not Bernstein, that's Cottrell. Vipers looking to play a little offense, a man down. Errant pass, and Ivory tries to chip it out. Takes a hit in the process. Shot, save Engelbert. That was nearly into the net. Good work by JR. Now Kimber moves it up. One minute remains on the power play. Lewis through center, gets it to book, but there's a mess in neutral. So it's taken in now, up the left side. At the point, shot, that hits the boot of Ivory. Vipers taking everything away. Not a lot of chances so far on this one. Vipers send it down in deep. Lewis sends it out to Book. Benson Burns carries up the right side, takes it to the middle, kicked away by Ebbinghaus. Power play is over, Kreider comes out of the box, he heads to the bench. Vipers flip it down and that'll be icing. We're just about halfway through the first frame here. We want to thank a couple of our sponsors for making this all possible. Breck Distillery over there on Airport Road. And Clientel Capital. The venture capital company of Rick Battenberg. Kreider works in, tries to get a shot off. It gets deflected backwards. Peterson rips a shot and he takes a hit in the process. And there was a call, it looks like Hinsberg's gonna spend some time in the box. Hinsberg's called for hooking. First man advantage for the Snakes. They win it back. Kreider plays catch with Cash. Goes down underneath the Manessi. He has to hurry to run it down. Held at the line by Wilson. Over to Cash. Cash was looking for Peterson there. And he gets tied up with Kimber. 
Whistle blows things dead as the puck goes out of play. Vipers get a change. They bring out the ever dangerous Houlihan Battenberg Bailey line. Houlihan getting a hat trick in 15 minutes last night, the first 15 minutes of the game. He ended up with four goals. Vipers work the perimeter out top to Wilson now. No look, that's gloved. Save Shields. 123 remains on the man advantage. Face off, touched over to the wall. Kreider plays it to Battenberg. Worked in deep. Now Houlihan. Bailey, up top to Wilson. Bailey a shot, that's right into the gut of Shields. They'll blow it dead. Manessi, Cash, Peterson, Schwab, and Gallo come out, the full change for the Vipers. Just under a minute remaining on the power play. Vipers control the faceoff shot. That goes high and caroms around. It was Manessi letting one go. Cross ice pass. Oh, that was Schwab and a fluttering puck. Follow up by Manessi, that's saved. Looked like for a moment Schwab was about to land one and that was another good look. That bounced off a hitman and almost goes in. Sharp angle look from Manessi. Cash now off the boards back to Schwab. Schwab lets one go. And he had three chances there. He's dialed in from the point here on the left side. That'll stop play. And the pit bull line comes out with the addition of Ivory. Fourteen seconds now. The Vipers have been living down in NorCal ice. Schwab sends the face off around. It goes in deep. They try and clear. It's held by Gallo. The puck squirts out. Over next to the Hitman bench, Noble throws a hit. He gets into a book. Power play over. Gallo touches it up to K. K from the right dot, that's over wide. It goes around and up the right side is NorCal skaters. Backhand attempt, save Engelbert. Another chance, he gets over to the other post. Book trying to get a follow-up rebound. Him and Ivory get tied up in the corner. NorCal now from the point. That goes in off the boards. Kay and Ivory go in together. Centering pass, misses Ivory. He gets off for a change. Ebbinghaus touches it up to Cage. He takes some contact over here underneath, underneath a shot save Engelbert. Ebbinghaus tries to flip one out and that turns in to a shot on goal. Clark was waiting for it. Gloved Engelbert. Shots on goal, a little more even tonight, and so is the score. By this time, it was around 4-0 last night. It's only 1-0 Vipers. 
Eight shots on net apiece. Each team getting a man advantage. Some special teams. And no scoring on the special teams, though. Battenberg throws it off Cottrell's skate. And Cottrell has to chase it in, throws a hit. Puck stays in play. It's worked in deep. That'll be an icing call. No change for NorCal there. They were trying to get on the ice. Who knows if one of them snuck on or not. Referees do a good job of sorting it out quickly. 619 remains in the first here. Manessi on the dot, wins it back. Kreider fires one in that trickles into the crease, swatted away. Atkins takes it down, just throws it in. Engelbert sticks it into the corner. Cash works it up to Wilson. Wilson has speed up the left side. Wilson lets one rip. Save. Shields. Vipers trying to churn it out of their own zone. Kreider runs into a little traffic. Shot gloved Engelbert. Vipers trying to get their ninth win of this winter season. And a couple more points on the ledger. Held at the blue line by Lewis. Book just has to send it in deep. Schwab there to take it away in the corner. It's held at the point by Kimber. Back in deep for the hitmen. Now Lewis thinks about it, throws it into Ivory Shin. He winces. And he is favoring that right leg a little. Breckenridge gets it out. NorCal has to touch up. Icing call. <laughs> Top scoring line out for the Vipers. Still playing five on five hockey. Houlihan runs one down off a wall, gets it over to Battenberg, his shot goes wide left. Chipped in and just covered up by Shields. It looks like Battenberg took a stick to the face when he let that shot go. Somewhere near that right eye, it looks like. He shakes it off. Face off cleared out of the zone all the way down. That'll be an icing call. 420 remains in the opening period. Vipers get Bernstein and Ebbinghaus out there on the D pair. Bernstein over to Ebbinghaus. He lets one rip that goes high and wide. Houlihan chases the rebound down. 
Works it around, finds Garrett Bailey, and that was saved. It trickled through the crease, and it's pulled out of there by Schwint. Now Houlihan and Battenberg in together. Houlihan with a move. Tries the forehand on the five hole. It's closed up by Shields. Offsides there on the Hitmen. Not a ton of pace to this, a lot of stoppage, a lot of icing, a lot of offsides, three penalties. Peterson up the right side, chips it, dodges a hit, muscles his man out of the way. Manessi now gets it to Cash. Held by Manessi, he's at the blue line, flips it up into the corner to Peterson. Now Cash tries to center one. Manessi to Bernstein, block shot. And Ebbinghaus can't slow down the bouncing puck. It goes over the blue line. Local product, Hank Cash now works forward. Backhands one in on net, it's covered up. Two forty nine now left in the opener. Cottrell joining Noble and Kay now on the forward line that's out there. Cottrell battles in the corner. Noble comes to help out. Luke comes up with it, centers it. K, Cottrell, oh, and both of them get poke checked away. No shot gets off. Kreider turns away the first entry, but they go right back in. Centering pass goes off Kreider's skate. NorCal holds his own. Battle underneath the goal line. Kay touches it to Kreider. Vipers are out. Puck gets chipped in. Vipers get a change. Houlihan on the forecheck gets it to Bailey with the turnover. Backhand to Battenberg. Misses wide. Held in by Gallo, a shot blocked. Battenberg tags up, gets in, but it's thrown right back out. That'll be icing. One nothing the score. Breckenridge leading. This game looks a lot different than the one last night. Gallo shot off the face off, running into the traffic. Chipped out. Fadden is on the move. Schwab cuts him down. Touched up to Battenberg. Battenberg gets one to Houlihan. It rolls off his stick. Now Clark. Clark from the top of the slot, throws it off Atkins. He gets it back to Clark. Shot goes wide right. That was Fadden. Peterson now throws one into the corner. Ebbinghaus has to retreat, can't hold the blue line. And some messy passing and entries in the neutral zone. 
contact between Peterson. Manessi takes a loose puck in himself. Peterson and Schwint had some open ice contact. And that'll buzz it down. The first period is over. Holton Camp entertains the crowd over there on his way off. The score is 1 0. We're going to thank some of our sponsors Craniology Breck, Wear a Helmet, Ramada Inn, your home away from home, New Belgium, get your Voodoo Ranger and your mountain time here at the Steve when the Vipers are hosting, and Vail Summit Orthopedics. We'll be back for second period action here in 17 minutes.
Vipers leading the NorCal Hitmen one to nothing on night two of a two game series here in Breckenridge. NorCal hanging in there at this point last night, they were facing a massive deficit. And after a sleepy first period relative to some of the fireworks we saw last night. Vipers look up to turn it up a little bit. They start with Bailey, Houlihan, and Battenberg. Gallo holds the line, lets one go. That ricochets off a stick. Battle along the boards over there, and it's chipped up out of play. Just 25 seconds into the second here. 13 shots on goal for the Vipers. Nine for the Hitmen. Kay, Ivory, and Noble out now. One to the boards. Moved out to the line. Gallo to Schwab. Schwab lets one go. That goes wide right. Caroms around and kicked in by Gallo, and it is out. Book centers one shot, save Engelbert. Scoring chance for NorCal. Now they're back in the crease. Poke checked away by Kay. Kimber flings it in back off the glass. Schwab chips it, chips it forward to Kay. And NorCal gets the first scoring chance, iced. They'll face off down there in front of Shields now. Face off, one back, it was fired in by Peterson. Quickly moved out, offsides NorCal. Fadden and Clark not on the same page. And they'll drop it in neutral. Manessi joining Cash and Peterson, the old vet with the two kids. Schmidt moves it forward, held in by Manessi. Cash picks it up, centers it. Now Manessi a shot. That misses everything, it's down into the corner now. Schwind up the left side, fires one gloved Engelbert, easy save. 11 saves now for J.R. Engelbert. The general manager of the Vipers who pieces this one together every, every weekend. Battenberg wins it back to Bernstein. Who chips it around. Bernstein now forward to Houlihan. Houlihan in with Battenberg. Shot, save, backhand. Battenberg must have put that off the right post. There was some space there to put it in. It happened quickly. Now Houlihan looking for Bernstein who was hanging out all alone in the crease. Puck still down in deep. Chopped along. Ebbinghaus trying to clean up the loose puck and it is iced by NorCal. <laughs> 17 13 remaining in the second. 
Shout out to Carol and her son, Mr. Bogart. Happy to have him visiting. Engelbert plays it out of the cage, moves it up along the boards to Wilson. Pushed forward, Ivory touches it in, negates the icing. Held in by Kreider, chips it up high off the boards. K there to collect it on the other side. Kreider takes a hit. Looks like his noggin might have run into the glass. Engelbert comes off, there's a delayed penalty. Kreider touches it up to Wilson, he goes in with speed, up the right side, hits the brakes, drops it back to K. K avoiding a big hit and touched up by NorCal. There will be a power play. And Carol, just as you spoke of your son Bogart, he is guilty of two minutes in the box. Man advantage for the Snakes. <laughs> Whistle blow thi blown things dead. I. Uh, Missed what happened here. Looks like it was slightly off sides. Vipers will have to drop it in neutral. Manessi, Cottrell, and Cash of forwards out there. Gallo and Schwab quarterbacking. Schwab up the left side. Moves around to hit, gets it in deep. Catches one off his skate, touches it to Manessi. Manessi is shot, save, it goes into the air. Puck was loose for a moment. Manessi gets chopped down, no call. The crowd wants a penalty. A minute 20 now in the man advantage. Cottrell gets tripped up as he crosses the blue line. And we're gonna get a trip. A five on three now. Looks like Lewis is the guilty party. He will join Bogart in the sin bin. 15-24 now left in the second period. Still a one nothing game. The Garrett Bailey tally came about Six or so minutes into it. One back to Kreider. And a five on three. Vipers move it around up top. They try and get a couple men out of position. Open up a passing lane shot that goes high off Wilson's stick. Kreider and Wilson. Down to Houlihan and his shots into the belly of Shields. 48 seconds now in the five on three. Plenty of time. They leave Bailey, Battenberg, and Houlihan out. One back to Kreider. He takes his time over to Houlihan, all the way across to Wilson. Now from the top, Houlihan fakes one, moves to the right side, down underneath to Battenberg. Battenberg skates around the cage. Bailey out to Wilson, Wilson over to Houlihan. Houlihan a shot, that must have hit a post. Karam's out. And all the way down to Breck Ice. 10 seconds left in the five on three. Wilson in quickly, gets around the defense. Sharp angle look, save Shields. Houlihan holds it in. He works a shot, go! Michael Houlihan! 
loose puck. Viper is able to connect last second on the five on three. It was close. Lewis is arguing it's time for him to come out, and so it, it was just after the buzzer. It'll be a five on four power play goal because the goal came at the very, very end of the five on three. Time ran out. We're going back to five on five hockey. And NorCal dodges a bullet there. They would have stayed on the disadvantage if that goal was scored one second sooner. And Houlihan picks, picks up where he left off last night, getting his fifth goal of the weekend. And quickly, there's another whistle. And another killer for hire finds his way into the box. Kimber will spend time in here for two minutes. Vipers go right back onto the power play. Hitman cleared immediately. Ebbinghaus taking his time. He sets it up, skates forward off the boards. He gets it back to himself, crosses the blue line, goes in up the right side, takes a shot, save off the shoulder, shields cleared. Engelbert leaves it for Manessi. Manessi chips it forward, that's intercepted. A little chippiness with Manessi there. Peterson in quickly, crossing pass. Ivory trying to find that left side. Puck battle over in the corner now. Manessi comes up with it. He takes another hit. Held in by Ivory at the point. Skates to the middle shot, that's gloved. Good look, two good looks by Mike Ivory on that shift. Coach Batts calls for a full change. 45 seconds now left on the power play. The Vipers have spent about four of the last five minutes on some sort of man advantage. Oh, and a big check. That puts Gallo down. He's still on the ice. They're gonna blow the whistle. And it looks like NorCal putting themselves in another bad spot. It's hard to tell from the angle I'm at, but it could, I think it was boarding on Atkins. Or Aikens, sorry, Aikens. So he'll join Kimber, and there's 32 seconds of five on three hockey. There's a mess, bodies on the ice at the faceoff. It gets back to Schwab. Schwab passes it over to Houlihan. Houlihan makes a move. Sharp angle off the post. It was covered up by Shields, and the clearing attempt Catches some net on the way out. Face off to be on the stick side of Shields. Actually, no, the glove side. 17 seconds now in the two man advantage. Face off mess again on the dot. And Schwab can't get to it on the blue line. That'll do it for the five on three. Kimber coming out of the box. Vipers are already in though. Houlihan goes around the net. 
It's five on four. Back to Hulan at the slot. He takes his time, picks his spot. He goes top shelf, beats him over the stick side. And so many times, NorCal has left Michael Houlihan wide open. He gets his eyes up and is able to find, find the corner he wants to go to. And he's got a second tally tonight, six goals on the weekend. Two power play goals for the Vipers tonight. The special teams is buzzing. Noble up with Ivory, takes a shot, gloved. Shot on goal for Luke Noble. Three to nothing to score now, Vipers. As we approach the halfway point, Kreider now fires one in that gets through bodies and just gobbled up the sleeve of Shields. He shakes it out. They'll drop things down again. Richie K runs it down, passes it through the slot. Good work by Holt Camp by getting in the way and score, Mike Ivory. Puck gets loose. Ivory shows up on the left side of the crease. They get shields going side to side. In the failed clear, rebound off the Wilson shot. Mike Ivory is there. Four to nothing, Breckenridge. Wilson chips it out. Whistled, called for icing. And after a slow first period relative to the scoring this weekend, NorCal gets themselves into penalty trouble Four penalties this period, a couple five on threes. The Vipers connect on two five on fours. Aaron pass in their own zone. Shields has to play it. He comes out dangerous, dangerous play there. Wilson puts one on net from neutral. The puck's bouncing around. Hank Cash was closing on it. Vipers have to retreat in their own zone. Hitmen hold the line. Aikens now in the corner being pestered by Wilson. Wilson going after Aikens. Pass forward to Peterson, turned away. Now Kimber puts it in deep. Engelbert comes out and plays it. He had a man pressing down on him and a leg shot to Kreider. They're gonna call that. Wilson gets in his face. Wilson and Kimber sharing some words. Kreider comes in to give him a shove. And I can't repeat what I'm hearing underneath me. This show is not rated R. We have a family-friendly broadcast, and uh, we'll omit those words. Kimber back in the box. NorCal putting themselves 
at a disadvantage once again. And that has been the story of the second period. A lot of penalties here. Vipers control the face off. It's taken away. And yeah, dangerous leg shot there. Now a whistle. Again, we got a hooking call. That'll be Rick Battenberg. Battenberg serving some time, a guy who generally stays out of the box. Four on four, we haven't had this tonight. Nine twenty remains in the second period. Shot right off the face off. That was Aikens. His shot goes wide. Houlihan going down up the right side. Good defense by NorCal to get in his way. Puck stays up against the wall. Bernstein comes up with it. Gets it across to Garrett Bailey. Pass misses Bernstein and the Hitmen carry out of their own zone. They chip it in, get a change. Engelbert plays it. About a minute left to four on four. Shot goes wide. Ebbinghaus, a newcomer, rips one from the right dot. Four to zero, the score. They'll redo the face off. They were, the headlinesman was not ready. 28 shots on net for the Vipers, 11 for NorCal. Face off one back, Gallo fires a shot, misses wide left. Ivory holds it in down deep. Back to Ivory now. Makes a move, surveys, shot. That goes off of a leg. Richie Kay is on it. Takes an open ice hit, stays on his feet. Schwab shot, misses. NorCal getting downhill now, turned away by Gallo. Richie Kay has a one-on-one. -on -one. Ivory's joining the race. Shot. That is gobbled up by Shields. Now 12 seconds remains of the four-on-four. Four. There'll be 13 seconds of man advantage for NorCal once it ends. Schwab holds the line. His shot is blocked. Hitman hide behind the cage, wait for time. Kimber comes out of the box. Shot intended for him is chipped away by Noble. Hitmen are in though on the man advantage. It's over. Rick Battenberg heads to the bench. Peterson comes on for him. Norcal holds the offensive zone. Book scanning, gets it back to Schwint shot blocked by a shin. Oh, and a clearing chance hits a man in the cage. Noble now up with Manessi, drops it for Manessi. Manessi stick fighting up the crease. Or up the slot, I should say, and then outlet pass. 
Goes a little far. Engelbert has to cover that up. Johnson was running that down. And now Wilson and Johnson having a conversation. So five on five hockey for now. The way things are going, we expect a little more special teams. Six thirty one remaining in the second. Garrett Bailey on the dot. Houlihan comes away with it. Up the boards, Peterson. Now Garrett Bailey. Hank Cash joining him. Backhand towards Cash, runs into a skate, covered up shields. Two goals for Houlihan. One for Garrett Bailey. And one for Mike Ivory. Makes up the four tallies we see. J.R. Engelbert, perfect so far. Wilson off the faceoff, shot low, save. Cottrell lets one rip. That goes into the body of Holt Camp. Shot from the wall, blockered away by Engelbert. Now Houlihan with speed. He has Cottrell trailing. Cottrell shot misses wide right. He takes a hit in the process. He's right back up. Carried in by Fadden. Fadden forgets the puck. Takes a hit by Wilson. They're gonna blow the whistle. Fadden and Wilson are gonna go at it. Wilson yanks his bucket off and they're gonna drop gloves. And here we go. They check each other out, grab jerseys. Both trying to throw a shot. Nobody's really gotten a punch off yet. Fadden going over the top and missing. Wilson hadn't got one off yet. There goes Wilson over the right side. And it looks like he catches him in the ear hole. They go down to the ice. Ferguson gives Fadden some love. Wilson pumps up the crowd. The sticks clap the ice and two men will serve some time. So the gloves dropped last night. Dan Ottenreath in the middle of that one. Serving a suspension. And we have the gloves drop again tonight, this time Cody Wilson. Looks like David Cottrell's also gonna serve some time for holding. which we must have missed in the uh, in all the excitement. So NorCal has a five on four. Face off, chipped out by Houlihan. He races up the right side. Spin move, backhand. Oh, and a save. Houlihan trying to get the shorty on his own. Some fancy skating, he hits the brakes. Chips a backhand. Rebound goes up into the air and Shields has to scramble to cover that up.
Clark touches it over to Hinsberg. Vipers clear. Peterson doing some greasy work in the corner, making it difficult for NorCal to get out of their own zone. They delay their entry, work it back to the blue line. They set up their offense. About a minute five remains now on the man advantage. Intercepted by Manessi. Slap shot goes in deep. Schwab comes in after it. He takes a hit. Kimber lays out Schwab. Schwab back up quickly. And that was a wide shot by Manessi. Vipers playing a little offense on this PK. Now Kay enters up the right side. He takes a shot, blocked into the corner. Failed clearing attempt, Kay's there. It's lifted out now. Ebbinghaus quickly clears it again. Good kill by the Vipers. Now 10 seconds remains. Ebbinghaus now chases a man around the net. Bernstein boots it away. Now Ebbinghaus. From behind the cage, works it up the left side with a flip. Intercepted by NorCal. Ebbinghaus throws a hit and dumps it in. Four nothing to score. A lot of special teams in this game. Now NorCal in, they got numbers. Save Engelbert. Ivory touches it up to Cash, but it's turned away. Noble now, centering pass. K from distance, he hits Noble with that shot. Loose puck. Looks like Benson Burns comes up with it. He goes in, bodies the man out of the way, shot. That goes wide and high. Battle in the corners, two minutes, just over two minutes remain now in the second. Ivory and Noble now. Ivory goes through a couple men, runs into the goalie on the outside of the crease. There's a delayed call. They're gonna get Ivory for the high stick as he was barreling through there. Actually, no, it'll be Schwint. Schwint's the guilty party. He'll come sit with Fadden, who's in for uh, throwing hands. The Vipers power play now back to work. One back, Schwab with a shot, gloved. Caleb Schwab, the 10-year veteran, playing his last home game tonight. He'll be a Viper forever. And he's letting it rip from the blue line tonight. He's got a few shots on goal. Trying to get himself a point before he hangs him up. And he's looked real sharp this weekend. Now him again at the blue line. Let's one rip, that's blocked. Houlihan though gets the rebound. And once again, he has a lot of time from that right dot. He goes far side, high side. Hat trick last night. 
And a hat trick tonight. Actually, last night you could call that the golden sombrero. And he is racking up points. Five to nothing, Vipers. Three power play goals. Loose puck at the red line. NorCal's in. Shot, and that hit Schwab in the, maybe in the bubble. Follow-up shot save, Engelbert. Whistle blows things dead. And it looked like the cage came off its peg. They'll drop things on Engelbert's stick side. Poor shoot around, but Cash is there first. Puck still loose. Shot attempt blocked, covered up by Engelbert. 44 seconds now left in the period. I want to thank some of our sponsors for making all this possible. It's the last broadcast of the year, or the season, I should say. Fifth Avenue Grill. Over on Main Street in Frisco. Ollie's Pub and Grub. Shot, save Engelbert, goes through traffic. Ollie's, where the after parties are. Go hang out with some of the team. Whiskey Star, the Skybox host of the year. We want to thank them for everything they've done. The barbecue is wonderful. Craniology Breck over on Main Street. Manessi moves in. Sticked away. Held by Ebbinghaus. And that'll buzz the sound of the end of the second period. It is five to nothing, Vipers. A slew of power play offense and special teams. A brawl. And an exciting second period. Ramada Inn, your home away from home. Over in Frisco, New Belgium. The official beer sponsor of the Breckenridge Vipers. Vail Summit Orthopedics, Breckenridge Grand Vacations, Breck Distillery, and Clientel Capital. Vipers head to the locker room with a five goal lead. We'll see you in about 17 minutes for the last period of this home season.
And we're back at the Steve. Five to zero, the score for the home team Vipers. As we enter the last period of the weekend, we want to thank our visitors, the NorCal Hitmen, for making their way over here from Northern California to skate here at altitude. It's been a fun season here. Vipers will head into the Clear Cup postseason as the four seed. They look to pick up their ninth win of the season tonight. Pick up a couple points. And a little momentum going into the three game series against the Santa Rosa Growlers. Lopsided weekend, the home team scoring 18 goals and the visitors won. Shots on goal right now, 31 to 15. They keep shields in net. Engelbert at the other end, pitching a shutout. The captain goes out to the red line. Controls it back to Gallo. Schwab off the boards to Garrett Bailey. And an entry goes off Battenberg skates. Kimber runs that down. The hitmen get it out of their own zone. Now Kimber up the middle of the ice. Stick checked away uh, by Schwab, and we have a whistle. It looks like uh, they want to call hooking on the captain. Rick Battenberg going back to the box. He'll spend two minutes over there. NorCal goes on the power play. They win the face off. It goes to Holt Camp. He holds it in at the point. Chips it in deep. Aikens now out of the corner. Hits the brakes. Out to the top. And the one-timer fanned on by Clark. Holt Camp now at the point, sends it back down. Shot, tip, attempt. That goes up out of play. That was Lanthanen who got his stick on that and tried to elevate it over a pad. 131 remains on the power play. Puck goes in deep, back to Holt Camp. He looks at Schwint and then sends it around. Clark in the corner now, skates over to the blue line. Around the world, down to Holt Camp. Back out to Clark, and Clark a rocket into the gut of Engelbert. That'll be his 18th save of the night. 109 now on the power play. One back by Kay Bernstein hacks it out. And actually, no, that takes a weird bounce. Holt Camp runs into the referee, shakes his head. NorCal resets. And they move it in. Up the right side, now down underneath. Now they are in the corner, work it out to the point. Playing the perimeter, shot through the middle. Oh, save Engelbert, he gets over to that. Look by Clark, who's having a good shift. 
Now Richie Kay pestering the point. It's able to be held in though. Shot goes off Richie Kay's knee. He's gonna get a change. Ebbinghaus runs it down. He's on his bottom, runs into the boards. That was awkward. NorCal regains control. They get on sides, fire it in deep. Ebbinghaus chips it out. And that'll do it for the Battenberg hooking call. Back to five on five. Wilson hits the brakes, sends it back out. Peterson, he shoots it, that's in low, pad save. Now Cash around the cage, puts one into the middle of the crease. Wilson couldn't get a lot on it, but it was a shot on goal, save Shields. Cleared all the way down the ice, icing called. Sixteen thirty-six remains in the game. Breckenridge holding a commanding 5-0 lead. Thanks to three power play goals. Shot, Manessi. The faceoff found him. Couldn't get a lot on it. Wins it to Cash. Cash and Kreider play catch. Now Cash fires one off the knee of Book. Peterson now gets a shot blocked. Vipers cross back in. Manessi through traffic. And now a high shot to Peterson's bubble. Look through the legs of Wilson, goes wide. Peterson now up the ice by himself, gets pushed away. He holds his arm funny. I can't tell if it's his ribs or, but he's in a little bit of pain. He might have taken an elbow. Maybe the wind got knocked out of him. Battenberg and Houlihan out. Faceoff goes in deep, wraps around. Gallo with the, a lob shot from the point. That's gloved. Houlihan with a move, sharp angle shot. The post is covered up. Hits the side of the cage. Now Garrett Bailey with a centering look to Schwab. Battenberg holds it in. Now Houlihan in the corner. Scans up to the point. Schwab with a look. Battenberg jumping out of the way of that one. Trying to be a screen. Trying to get Caleb Schwab a goal. One back to the blue line. NorCal able to carry it around their own cage and Garrett Bailey gets in the way of a pass. Camp's just going to send it in around. Engelbert cuts it off. Schwab to Gallo. Goes off Gallo's skate. He dives to get it out. Battle along the boards. Garrett Bailey all alone here on the left side. Gets it to Houlihan. Houlihan trying to dangle through a man. Defender goes down. Garrett Bailey comes up with it. Skates through a couple guys.
Just over five minutes now off the clock in the third. Bernstein tries to glove one down. It gets out into neutral, though. They'll call offsides as Houlihan touches it. Neutralized face off. Goes back into NorCal ice. They work it up quickly up the left side. Bernstein pushes a man up and into the wall and around. Out to the blue line, shot. Blocker it away, Engelbert. Hitmen hold the zone, they got it down in the corner now. Sent around, held at the point. Noble able to chip it out towards Ivory. Ivory throws a man into the boards. No call. Failed entry, Kay comes up with it. Over to Ivory. Ivory throws it right through the top of the crease. Chipped in by Ebbinghaus. Breckenridge works a change. Aiken goes around a man, turned away. Cottrell goes through some traffic looking for Kreider. Manessi chips one up high. Hank Cash is on it. Battle along the boards here, fired in, no icing. Hitman touch it in deep. Manessi throws a hit while on the puck. Cottrell passes to Cash. Cash shoved off the puck. Vipers touch up after firing it in. Now Engelbert wraps it around the cage. Kimber with a shot from deep. That's an easy save. 21st save of the night for J.R. Engelbert. 11.44 now left in the third period. Five to nothing the score for the Vipers last homestand. Flung out deep, Houlihan's on it. He gets around a man, he's loose. Him and Battenberg passes to Battenberg, score! Houlihan dishes to the captain. They get behind the defense. They get the sixth of the night. Top line produces. Five goals now for that line. Houlihan getting behind the defender. They get tied up at the blue line. Battenberg times it just right. They beat Shields on the stick side. Clearing attempt, K on it. Charges out, gets it across the ice to Ivory. Ivory with time, shoots it off the elbow. And there's a two on two the other way. Good move, save Engelbert. Swats it over to the boards. 
High danger chance there. Lorcal's had a few of those, but they just can't solve the mystery that is J.R. Engelbert. Another shot saved. Manessi sends the rebound out to neutral. And Manessi, who also, I think, earned himself an assist as he flung one out into the air to Houlihan on that goal, the Battenberg goal. It was a beautiful pass. Manessi touches it up into Cash. Now Ebbinghaus scans. Him and Bernstein play catch. Just under 10 minutes now. Manessi's in off the left side. He's got help, throws one off the of shin. Now Kimberford, Aikens touches it in. Engelbert plays it to Bernstein. Flung out, Battenberg chases. And now Houlihan pestering. Good four check by the top line. NorCal works it in, but it's taken away quickly. Wilson touches it up to Battenberg, but it's a little too far out of his reach. NorCal gets their change, they send it in deep. Outlet pass by JR. Battenberg goes backwards to Bailey. Bailey has some space. Backhand chipped away. Now Kreider. Wilson carrying it back in, runs into Battenberg's skate though on the way through the blue. Kreider's gonna charge up the right side and let his team get a change. He's gonna hold it up against the wall with a stick, or his skate. Garrett Bailey with a good spin move to buy some time. The other way goes Benson Burns, he carries it around, looking for a pass. Houlihan takes it away, it's still in the corner though, gets it back. Shot save, Engelbert. Johnson on the look. Noble finds Garrett Bailey all alone up the left side. He goes in with speed. Through a defender, sharp angle shot save. Puck's still loose. They do blow it dead, though. Seven oh eight remaining. Six to zero, the tally. Regular season strong. Turned over in their own ice there. NorCal fires it into the bottom of the slot there. Nobody can get a chance on it. It goes in deep. Holt Camp runs it down. Backhands it to nobody. Kay's there though. Kay makes a move. Has plenty of time and his pass intercepted by Aikens. Aikens up the left. Poke checked away by Gallo. Manessi's backhand to Ivory is turned away. There goes Bogart. Tries to make a move. Sticked away by, that was Schwab. And Schwab's able to get it just over the blue line. Bogart works it back to Schwint. 
NorCal dumps it in. Schwab whips it around the boards into neutral. Now Cash up the left side, takes a shot. There is a stick that got a piece of that. It kind of started knuckling uh, through the crease and that nearly found Peterson's stick. Peterson skates around. Score! Peterson, the local kid, Summit High School. In town for the weekend, gets number seven for the Snakes. Buys some time, goes to the top of the slot, picks a corner, earns himself a point. About five minutes remains. Norcal battles down in the corner. Garrett Bailey touches it out to Battenberg. Battenberg to Houlihan. Fields it off the boards. Backhands it through the crease. And it is sent out and around. Ebbinghaus chases it back. Norcal holds it in deep. A little bit of a lull in the action. Hitman trying to hold it in there deep, looking for a score. Trying to get on the board. Ebbinghaus staying in the way of a few shots there. Another one goes wide off the glass. Garrett Bailey finds a little ice. Up forward to Houlihan. Houlihan buys time, takes a shot. That's sticked away into the corner by Shields. Now Aikens. Up to Clark. Akins gets it back and goes high off the glass. Little miscommunication there on the hit man, and they're going to have to bring it out from deep. Clark up the left side, shot, blocked by Wilson. We got a fight maybe over there. Cottrell and Kimber go down, no fight. It's hard to tell from this angle. But they both went down, we heard the whistle. Cottrell looks to be the guilty party. He'll get a cross-checking call. With 3.04 left in the game. NorCal uses their timeout. They want to talk about the power play. And it looks like they do send in Robinet for some work. You'd think that maybe Robinet might skate off so they can go on a, get six skaters out on the ice maybe towards the end. Interference to call, not cross-checking.
We want to thank our sponsors for making this all possible. And thank you to all the NorCal fans for tuning in on YouTube. We hope to keep this broadcast and this production alive in the years to come. Fifth Avenue Grill, Ollie's Pub and Grub, Whiskey Star, Craniology Breck, Ramada Inn, your home away from home. Face off goes into the corner, Wilson clears. Goes off the referee. New Belgium, the official beer sponsor. Kay takes a hit over into the Hitman bench. Laughs it off. Dale Summit Orthopedics, longtime sponsor. Shot, beats Engelbert. Hitman, get on the board. Engelbert not happy with himself. Or maybe he's not happy with someone in front of him, but you've had a good weekend, JR. He really wanted to get that shut out. And on the 25th shot, of the night, Engelbert surrenders one. Seven to one. Back to five on five. Thank you, Breckenridge Grand Vacations. Get your rental properties if you're coming up here with a group. We're on vacation. You got family visiting. Call Breckenridge Grand Vacations. Worked up. Manessi all alone. Skates it in. Backhand. High danger. Good chance for Manessi. He keeps the play alive. Gets it to Schwab. Schwab throws one in there. It's blown dead. Slash is going to be the call. As Schwab throws one into the blender, there is a slash. It looks like Doyle will go to the box. 156 left in the game that will be spent on the power play. Thank you, Breck Distillery. Over off Airport Road in Breckenridge. Face off controlled over to Schwab. Schwab lets one fly. Good save by Shields. Peterson touches it back to Schwab at the point. He skates the blue line, lets another one go. Shot block. Failed clearing attempt. Schwab moves it over to Gallo this time. Gallo now. They hold it into the corner and they clear it. Engelbert touches it back to Schwab. Schwab hits the brakes. Chasing forecheck. Gets an interception. Working in a backhand. Now Garrett Bailey gets it out up to Manessi, who's cherry picking. Over to Houlihan. Make it eight on the night. And Michael Houlihan. Not one, but two four gold nights. Four goals last night and four tonight. Manessi hanging out at the blue line. Touches it over to streaking Hulan. Manessi also not happy with something after the play. He has to get coaxed back onto his own bench. Fifty-eight seconds left in the game. Also, a huge thanks to Pintel Capital. Vipers charge forward into the Clear Cup playoffs.
So long and farewell to the 10-year veteran, Caleb Schwab. Schwabby, they call him. The Breckenridge Vipers family thanks you. It's been a good run. Garrett Bailey touches one off the boards to himself. Skates through, off the post. That goes into the rafters. It stays in play. Must have missed the duct work up there. Hitman uh, try and burn the last five seconds out as they move it forward, and that should do it for this one. Vipers victorious, 2-0 on the weekend. They pick up four points. The visiting NorCal Hitmen travel back to California with a 5 and 4 record on their winter. It's been fun. We here with uh, the Vipers, KSMT, we appreciate all the sponsors for allowing us to do this. It's been a good season. Thank you again to some of you, Trevor Poole, Autumn Pierpont, Jay Shields in the PA, Kerry Hinton, thanks for singing Greg Adamison, and thanks Rick Battenberg and Richard Battenberg, Coach Bats, for making all this happen. I'm Tyler Bruce, and you'll hear me maybe in a few months here when the Vipers fire things back up in November. Good night.